We're heading to Jacksonville to go pick up our mystery boxes. Are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Hello Tarantula lovers, I'm Alex and you're watching Tarantula Haven. We got it, we've got our mystery box, so we're excited to open it up. So excited this morning, I didn't even shave. Did you shave this morning? You forgot to shave? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I didn't shave, so I apologize for my appearance. So let's go ahead and get into this and find out what we have here. All day. <laughs> I know. All right, here we go. Let's see. You got a card. All right. We got our card. And there's some instructions here. Your spiderlings are secured inside tightly closed vials. The vials are wrapped up in newspaper to help absorb the bumps and colored tissue paper, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's just the regular instructions that go along with it. So it's all good. All right, set that aside. And this one's a little bit bigger box than I usually get. It's got the actual foam box inside. Pretty nice. fancy there. Yeah, go ahead and throw that over there. This is my first order of crackers. Yeah. This is the first time you've ordered one? Yeah. I may distract it. It's just moving around a little bit. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn this on. All right. So here we go. So we got our tissue paper tarantulas in here. And the rest is just paper. All right. So we're good there. All right, so this one is a mystery, so I'm gonna put that one aside. This one is a mystery, so I'll put that one aside. And that one is a mystery, and we're putting that one aside. And we ordered ourselves, this one's a freebie, we'll talk about that. And um, she wanted to order a tarantula and she bought me one for Father's Day. So thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so we'll get into what these are. I need to, we need to look inside and make sure that they're okay. And I need to decide what size enclosure they need. I don't know if you can see these right here, but I bought a bunch of enclosures at the container store so that we could um, be ready for our shipment. All right, so hey, you're gonna need to look in here. All right, so. The ones that we got for ourselves, this is, I can't see. All right, this is Aphonopelma burica and um, Costa Rican blue front tarantula. I'd never even heard of these things. And when we looked at them, we saw them and how nice they looked. And we decided that we wanted to try them out, right? You mm -hmm. said you want to try it out. So she picked it out. And she bought me an extra one, so we both got one each. So this is also Aphenopelma burica. And as a freebie, 
we chose oops, Mega Fabima Robustum because she liked them. And I actually think this might be one of the mysteries. I am not positive, don't quote me on that, but I think that one of the mystery spiders is the Mega Fabima Robustum, but we'll see. I don't know. All right, so let's take a look and see what we have inside. Okay, let's look at the Mega Fabima first. And there it is, and it looks like it's okay. Yep, oh, yep, we're <laughs> all right. It's coming out. <laughs> that one's good size, so we're gonna have good size enclosure for that. These, I have no idea how big they're going to be or how small they're going to be. Oh, they are tiny, tiny. Look at that leash. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to track that. I haven't had <laughs> yeah, one Yeah, fruit small. flies. All right. Okay. <laughs> fruit flies. Well, I know. All right. I and one. that one's okay. And here's the other one way down in there. And that one appears to be okay as well. So that's awesome. All right. So those are good. And let's start out with yours. It's sweet and fluffy. All right. So she chose Scott's sweet and fluffy. And why did you want sweet and fluffy? Because they're like fluffy tarantulas and I don't want one that's going to kick hairs at me or just be aggressive towards me because I don't handle it very well. <laughs> okay. All right. And so the clue was I am big and fluffy and rare. And that was a big kicker for me. I, I, I wanted something that was interesting and I wanted something that she would feel like she was comfortable with. But the rare kind of, you know, intrigued me a little bit. Um, you don't have time to spare. Better get me now before I disappear. So we got one. So that is Scott's Sweet and Fluffy. So let's take a look. Make sure it's okay. It's going to be really small. Yeah, I think it might be small too. Yep, it's a tiny little guy right there. So very difficult to tell what that is from a sling. It looks like any other... Sling. New World Terrestrial Sling. Just like those guys so are we're going to have a fun time trying to figure that one out until they release what they are. Okay, and the other one that I picked up was BJ's Big Beauty. And oh, let me read the clue for BJ's. On BJ's it says, I'm one of the biggest of my genus. Blue, black, and burgundy. That was a big attractor for me. Um, misidentified as my cousin, long legs, and quite fuzzy. So, I don't know. That one kind of threw me. I don't know what to expect on that. I love to eat. In fact, you'll see my response to prey is sick. I'm quite fluent in Portuguese. My hairs I tend to kick. I, I grow real fast and get quite large. Your collection I'll fulfill. Make BJ's day and please pick me. She'll promise you a thrill. So it just sounded really interesting to me. I really don't know what to expect from this. Um, the Portuguese part, that one kind of made me think that maybe it's a Brazilian species. But again, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking as far as uh, what what I might think it might be is maybe a Pamphibedius species, but which one I don't know and I could be completely way off base. So that's just my line of thinking there. Um, there's no telling what this is. So let's take a look at this one. Let's hope it's not, oh, this one's pretty big. Already trying to charge out, so I'm not gonna push it. Oh, look at it. It's already there. Sticking his legs out. So All right, I may have to open an enclosure here just to keep it for a little bit. Is it biting? No, actually, it looks like it's biting. Is it bit. going? It looks like it's being. Um, it's coming out butt first. Is it being defensive? No, it's coming out. Whoa! All right. Wow, that is gorgeous. Long legs. They weren't kidding about that part. All right, beautiful red abdomen. I am thrilled. All right, I'm going to put you in here, little guy. So cool. And we will cover this up for now. 
and that one is already giving me a thrill. <laughs> it's already coming out. It acts like it's pretty feisty. Definitely doing well. So I, I'm excited about this one. I definitely want to know what that is. All right, set that aside. Okay, and the last one, the Pièce de Résistance. This is Michelle's award-winning tea. And when I read the description on this, I knew I had to have this one. I just felt something good about it. And it just sounded like it was gonna be a real exciting species. I'm a large tarantula from the Amazon and I don't mind saying I'm much better than the others. I like to roam and you'll rarely see me hide, which is great because my colors are quite mesmerizing, which is an awesome thing that I was attracted to. A spectacular bloom of black highlighted by blue and fuchsia. I'd be a prize winning flower in any collection. How could you not like that description? And this one flew off the shelves. They, they, I think they sold out within hours on this one and uh, I was lucky to get it. So thank you so much Fear Not Tarantulas. Uh, thank you so much Tanya. And in just a second I'll set up these enclosures and we will do a rehousing on them and get them into their homes for now. You're not here to open that one up yet. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm a big dummy. <laughs> she remind me, you're not gonna open that one up, you big dummy. All right, so let's open it up and see if it's okay. I don't even know if it's okay. All right, I'm just excited. Just gonna rehouse it right now. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. I don't care. It just sounds good. Shut up. All right, so let's take a look. Hopefully this one's going to start running out like the other one did. All right, so I'm seeing pretty good size there, but I can't really see in there. I'm gonna take a look. Does it look all right? It looks like it's upside down. All right, let's take a look. It looks kind of curled up. Yeah. Oh, it's moving. Okay, cool. We're moving. Okay, so there it is. And we know we're moving, so I'm going to go ahead and close this back up. Oh, my phone's going crazy. We're going to close this back up, and we will put it in its home. We'll get a good look at it then. All right, so now we're going to set up oh. enclosures, and now we're going to get them set up. He just fell on his back. <laughs> he's all crawling around. I know. He's everywhere. All right, so I'm back, and I lost my partner. She said I could take care of this on my own. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Afonapelma burica. And um, I figured they were so small, I'm going to put them into these small um, little deli cups kind of thing. Um, because I, I think with the uh, if I use the Amex boxes, I think the holes are too big, and I might have them escape. So that's why I'm putting them in here. So let's go ahead and take care of that. And paper towel. Oh, it's really stuck in there. Okay, there we go. All right. So we got that open. Okay, and this is a tiny, tiny little guy. So I have never dealt with this species before, but they are beautiful, mostly gray brownish tarantula with blue, a blue sheen on the calistera and the front um, legs. So let's go ahead and put it in. Yeah, that would definitely get out of the enclosure if I had it in the Amic box. So once they get some size on them, we'll definitely transfer them. But right now they're tiny and they will go in here. Okay. So there it is. You barely see it. All right, so that's number one. Okay, the next one, same species. Afonapelma burica.
there's the other one so super tiny all right little guy oh wrong way There you go. <clears throat> All right. So he's in there. Let me put the lid on that. All right. So the next one we will do Scott's Sweet and Fluffy. Is that what it was? Yes, got sweet and fluffy. We'll go ahead and rehouse that one. So here is sweet and fluffy. Okay. Let's get a good look at what sweet and fluffy looks like. All right, so they're sweet and fluffy. Hard to tell what that is. It just looks like your typical um, <laughs> terrestrial New World sling. So we will find out. Kind of leggy, a little bit leggy. Very lively. All right, little guy. <laughs> oh. Okay, there we go. He's moving around pretty good. Curious to know what that is. Okay. All right, so that one's down. Okay, so next up will be the Mega Fobima Robustum. And the reason why I chose this freebie is because my daughter actually complimented it or said she really liked it. And uh, so I went ahead and picked it out as the freebie and I'm going to give that to her. These are some funny little guys. They have this weird thing that they do when they walk, when they feel threatened. They kind of wiggle around, do a funny little dance, which is why I think it's one of the, um, I think it might be one of the mystery boxes. Because I think one of them mentioned something about it doing a dance. And this is a gorgeous specimen right here. You can already see the orange on the legs. It's pretty big. Awesome. All right, buddy. Where's your new home? Look at that. That is gorgeous. You can definitely already start seeing the striations on the legs. Nice orange color there. Just a beautiful species. Okay. That takes care of that. And the next one will be BJ's Big Beauty. BJ's Big Booty, I keep wanting to say. <laughs> Sure, BJ appreciates that. All right, and this one came out pretty quick. It was pretty feisty coming out. And I honestly do not know what this is, but it is leggy and has a fuzzy abdomen and it's nice and red. He is feisty. There you go. I'm wanting to say 
It might be a Pamphibedius, but I have never kept Pamphibedius before. He is cool. There you go. All right. Happy with that one. All right, big guy. And the last one is Michelle's award-winning tea. And by the description, I just had to have this one. And I didn't say what I thought my suspicions were as to what I thought it was. But, I don't know. It sounded a lot like a Xenesis species. I know they were carrying Xenesis species Imanis. And uh, I was hoping that maybe that's what it was, but... Again, I don't know, but it just sounded too good to pass up. And that is a very large tarantula, a very large sling, should I say. And that looks really cool. You can't see a whole lot of it. I'm seeing a very fuzzy abdomen. No really... And not anything distinguishing standing out. I've never had a Xenesis species before. I did mention, um, I think it was on one of the tarantula tag videos. They asked what my dream tarantula is. Uh, and my response was a Xenesis species blue. So if this is a Xenesis species, um, I'll be very happy with that. Whether it's blue or not. <laughs> They're all just pretty much gorgeous. All right, buddy. Wow, look at that leg span. That is crazy. And it is feisty. I'm seeing it actually biting on the edge of the plastic there. Fangs out. Come on. Very strange. Legs all spread out, walking kind of funny. Ooh, little jolts here and there <laughs> kind of surprise you. All right. So, honestly, I don't recognize it. I've never had a Xenesis species, I've never had a Pamphibedia species. So, if these happen to be that, I'm going to be really, really happy. These will be my first ones. Um, I'm definitely going to have to contact Tom Moran and get some advice on how to keep them, make sure I don't mess up on them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Fear Not Tarantulas Mystery Boxes. Uh, we've got Scott's Fluff, Sweet and Fluffy. We've got BJ's Big Beauty. And we have Michelle's Award-Winning Tea. And I honestly really don't have a clue what I have here. I have a suspicion on one of them, but the other ones I am completely clueless. So if you have an idea as to what you think it might be, don't hesitate to drop me a comment below and give me a hint because, like I said, I really don't know what I have. And that's kind of a good feeling. That's kind of the fun of the mystery boxes and uh, just, you know, trying to guess what they have and maybe being able to get a species that you've never had before or a species that you probably couldn't afford because uh, sometimes they do sell some fantastic expensive species for 50 bucks, which is a good deal. So if you are in the market for a tarantula, I would highly recommend you check out Fear Not Tarantulas. The proof is in the pudding, guys. Every single time I get anything from Fear Not Tarantulas, they always look great and healthy and they stand by their, their product. If, if anything goes wrong, they usually correct it right away, which I've never had anything go wrong with Fear Not Tarantulas. So I did post a link down below for you to check out Fear Not Tarantulas. Uh, I'm sorry if you didn't get your mystery box this time around. They sold out super quick. Um, 
I don't know if people have been anticipating it or if it was just their clues and their species that they thought that they were they were selling but I think they sold out within 24 hours I don't quote me on that but I know that the Michelle's tea sold out super super quick so next time around keep an eye out for it follow them on Facebook and when they post it get on it because they go quick and there seems to be going quicker every year or every time they do it. So definitely check out Fear Not Tarantulas. Thank you so much to the Fear Not Tarantulas crew and Tanya. Thank you. Thanks again. And uh, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support this channel, I have a Teespring store and I'll link that down below where you can buy Tarantula Haven merchandise. And as always, keep loving them tarantulas.